All right, hey YouTube, what's going on today? Um, I want to talk about this trend um, that's going on with YouTube, and I'm trying to figure out why everyone is feeling the need to get on this bandwagon. And I'm talking about all these creators that are calling it quits. They're saying they're quitting YouTube. And I'm trying to wrap my brain around this. So I have some thoughts on it. These are all just my opinions on on some of this stuff. But it seems like every time I open YouTube, I'm, I'm flooded with videos talking about yet another creator who's calling it quits. Or there's another video on um, why are so many creators leaving YouTube or quitting YouTube? Now, in my opinion, I don't think these guys are actually quitting YouTube because to me, quitting would be deleting all your videos and taking the channel completely down. But I don't think these guys are doing that. I think that if you keep your videos up, you're still making residual income from the watch time hours that those videos will continuously get. Um, so I, I don't know if how many are really quitting YouTube. So, um, you know, most of these creators have been doing this for upwards of a decade or more. And I get the fact that, you know, burnout is a thing, but I'm constantly reminded that me, as well as all these creators, we don't have to work a regular nine to five job. So I'm, I'm blessed enough that I teach guitar full time. I literally have enough students to work a 40 hour work week. So, and it took a while to get to that, but to me, that's awesome. So I get to work out of my, my home base studio here. So when I'm not teaching guitar students, I'm filming videos or I'm spending time with my family. And I think that a lot of these creators, they, they've got the same luxury and they have the ability to make a claim that they want to quit YouTube, but yet they, they kind of fail to see the big picture that it, to me, it's almost like they're biting the hand that fed them. And YouTube gave them a free platform for them to get their message out, to amplify their message. And I mean, we could all have it a lot worse. If you're a creator and you have the same kind of luxury or lifestyle where you don't have to work a regular job, we could have it a lot worse in the sense that we could be sitting at a cubicle, staring at a computer screen, crunching numbers for some, for some corporation from nine to five, and in, in some cases ex be expected to bring that job home with you and continue to work after work hours. So I think, um, you know, we've got that as a, you know, that benefit right there. Now, not all of us have that, right? Some of us who are trying to create a YouTube channel, we're small channels, that we do have to work a regular day job and we've got to find the time to create content and maybe there's times when you get home from work and you just do not feel motivated to make a video but I tell you you have to if you really want to get out of what I call the matrix or the rat race working for somebody else you have to do it you just have to kind of burn the candle at both ends for a little while but um, I think without YouTube these creators wouldn't have as much of an impact to get their external product or service known, right? Not without a lot of advertising dollars. So YouTube has afforded them the ability to generate an income through various means, whether it's AdSense or it's affiliate or it's brand deals and sponsorships, things like that. But in the meantime, they're also maybe creating online courses or they have a product that they've developed they want to sell and they've used YouTube as the ability to get that product or service out in the public space. Um, now I know for me I'm a small YouTube channel I've only been doing this for a little over a year I just rolled over a thousand subscribers so I'm just now getting to that monetization level and to me that that was a major milestone as soon as I hit a thousand subscribers I tell you, I'm more motivated than ever to keep going. And to everyone who has subscribed and supported my channel, thank you so much. And even those who have been very criticizing or have a lot of critique on what I say on my videos, I appreciate that too. I love all of the feedback that you guys have been giving me. So thank you. Um, I'm not going to be quitting YouTube. I love YouTube. I love waking up in the morning and 
checking my analytics. I love thinking about different video topics. I love researching video topics. So when I'm done teaching guitar at the end of the night, I will sit there on my laptop and just research video ideas. Um, I find it fascinating. A couple years ago, I would have never thought I would be interested in cinematography, you know, just the filming, the editing, lighting, um, you know, effects and things like that just creating videos. Now I'm like totally obsessed with this stuff. So I found I, I started off with just simple iPhone and iPad for my filming and now I've moved up to actual legit uh, DSLR cameras, right? So now we know at the end of the day as creators, YouTube is not really free because you have to spend money on your gear, whether it's it's lighting or it's microphones and things like that. So you have to spend a little bit of money, you gotta pay to play, as they say, right? You can't make money unless you spend some money. I think though, what's happening though, is these creators might be sending the wrong message to some of the smaller channels. And um, as I saw all these videos, it kind of got me thinking and almost not like fearful, but just like wondering like, wait, why is everybody quitting? Does that mean YouTube is, is it doing well or is it gonna be going away? We know that's not the case. YouTube is going to continuously grow um, more and more advertisers are just pumping ridiculous amounts of money into YouTube because they, they know that's where the audiences are at. People aren't watching standard television anymore like they used to 10 or more years ago. So I, th I think the goal though for small creators in this time is to just keep doing what you're doing. And eventually you'll start to get noticed by companies that are looking to endorse or sponsor, um, you know, you eventually get the AdSense, you work into some affiliate marketing deals and things like that to where little by little, these little trickles of money start coming in and they're just going to continuously grow. But Rhett Schull uh, made an amazing video on this topic, like I think last week. And if you're not subscribed to Rhett Schull, I would definitely check out his channel and subscribe to him. The guy's amazing, just brilliant mind. Um, phenomenal guitar player. So there's a link in the description for, for this video I'm talking about, but he kind of covers some of the stuff that creators will face. And if you live a certain lifestyle or you need to live a certain lifestyle, meaning you need to make a certain amount of money each month because you've got obligations, you've got a mortgage payment or you got rent or you got car payment, things like that, then you might find YouTube alone may not provide that in the sense that you might have a few good months of just phenomenal growth. You're seeing the money coming in from your um, YouTube uh, AdSense and things like that. But what if you put some bad videos out one month? If the video isn't engaging and getting watch time hours, you're not gonna be getting paid that as much that month, right? So that could put a hurting on you that month. Or what if you get a couple months string of that though, right? So having other options, to provide a more steady flow of income, I think is very critical. I, I find though that as a small creator, I'm not anywhere near a burnout phase or anything like that. In fact, the more I get involved with YouTube, the more obsessed I become with it, um, with just the whole processes that go into it. Um, I understand the, that the time commitment that you know it's kind of a demanding time commitment. You have to stay committed to it. You've got to stay committed to continuing to learn, continuing to get better, um, working on you know all of your videoing techniques and editing techniques and things like that. The learning curve and the struggles and the frustrations are real. Um, but it makes me kind of think about Alex Hormozzi. And if you're not you know following Alex Hormozzi, I would check him out. Um, he he kind of said it best, and I'm paraphrasing here, that in the beginning when you're learning a new skill or anything, you're gonna suck at it. That's just the way it is. Think about like when we learn musical instruments in the beginning, we just suck at it, right? But the more you do it, you find that you suck a little bit less. You keep doing it more and you suck a little bit less, right? To eventually where you're not as bad at it, right? And then you, you feel pretty confident with your, your skills and your abilities. So just remember that, um, you know, without struggle, there is no growth. And you also kind of have to ask yourself, what is your purpose with YouTube? I mean, me as a music teacher, guitar teacher, my goal at this point is to educate a younger generation of guitar players about maybe some of the old school ways of doing things. Because, you, you know, obviously we live in an era now where 
music is different than it was 20, 30 years ago. We don't have the same like guitar god heroes that, that we had when I'm 50 years old. So um, when I was a kid, I mean, it was just a different breed of guitar player. And the, the musicianship, I think, was a little bit on a different level back then. Um, not to say that there isn't amazing guitar players now, but just the music industry on a whole is is just a, going in a different direction. We, they don't seem to promote as much of that virtuosity that was exhibited many, many years ago. You kind of have to ask yourself what your your purpose or your goal is on YouTube. And for me, it's buying freedom. I want to buy myself freedom. I, I teach 60 guitar students every week and my prime time teaching hours are going to be from three o'clock in the afternoon until nine o'clock at night that eats up family time i don't get to eat dinner until after 9 p.m i don't i get to see my kids just as they're going to bed i don't get to help with homework so i get to spend time with them only on the weekends really i want to have the option the luxury of being able to reduce the number of in-person guitar students that i have every day so that i can spend more time with my family and i think that YouTube might help with that, getting me to that level to where I can be more selective on the amount of students that I teach in person. I think also, you know, as we learn the tricks of the trade, not that there's really any tricks, but I think that as we're continuing to hone our skills, it would probably be a better way to put it that, you know, these creators, let me back up here. I think also a lot of these creators that have been doing this a long time youtube is not their only source of revenue okay so some of these guys have you know whether it be a, a product or a service like an online course or something that they've created and they continuously you know develop as like maybe their main source of revenue and i think that's kind of where i want to get to eventually so if you're a small channel like me and you have big dreams to grow larger and have a massive following you need to be kind of maybe thinking about some of these other income streams or revenue streams that you could be developing. So for me, I'm constantly thinking about how can I create an online guitar course? How can I get into more affiliate marketing? Um, you know, thinking about possible sponsorships and brand deals and things like that, where, um, you know, all of that stuff comes together with the ad revenue from YouTube you could probably make a really decent income. And we know some of those large creators, the massive creators, they're making a killing, right? So I think, uh, you know, right now, I'm not backing down from YouTube. I'm doubling down. I'm going all in on it. And if you're a small creator, you should too. And really, at the end of the day, I think this also gives small creators uh, a glimmer of hope that, there is still so many slices of the pie left that we can get a piece of. And YouTube is not ending. It's not going away anytime soon. And get your message out there. Just keep hammering away at it. You know, don't give up. Just remember, without struggle, there is no growth. And if you've got anything you'd like to add to this commentary, feel free to drop those in the comments down below. Love to hear what you guys think about this kind of stuff going on right now with everybody quitting YouTube. So, until next time, keep rocking on and peace.